After introduction of sine rule and cosine rule, we shift over to another important application of trigonometric functions. That is, we take up, let S be equal to semi-perimeter of the triangle. That is, half of the perimeter of the triangle, that is A plus B plus C. Therefore, S minus A will be equal to a plus B plus C by 2 minus A, which comes out to be equal to B plus C minus A divided by 2. Similarly, S minus B will be equal to C plus A minus B by 2 and S minus C will be equal to A plus B minus C divided by 2. Now, applying them, we get sine square c by 2 is equal to 1 half of 1 minus cos of c. That is half of, we use the formula for cosine formula, that is a square plus b square minus c square divided by 2ab, which comes out to be equal to half of 2ab minus a square minus b square plus c square divided by 2ab or 4ab then c square minus a square plus b square minus 2ab which comes out to be equal to c square minus a minus b whole square divided by 4ab. That gives you c plus a minus b into c minus a plus b divided by 4ab. This becomes 2 times s minus b and this becomes 2 times s minus a divided by 4ab. Therefore, sine square c by 2 is equal to s minus a into s minus b divided by ab. Note that sin c by 2 is always positive because c is c by 2 is less than 90 degrees. Therefore, sin c by 2 is positive and we take a positive square root of s minus a into s minus b divided by ab. Similarly, sin a by 2 becomes s minus b into s minus c divided by bc and sine b by 2 becomes s minus under root of s minus a into s minus c divided by ac. Just as we have found sine a by 2, sine b by 2, sine c by 2 in terms of semi-perimeters and the sides of a triangle, similarly we can find out cos of a by 2, cos b by 2, cos c by 2 in terms of semi-perimeter and the sides of a triangle. We use cos square c by 2 is equal to half of 1 plus cos of c. That is half of 1 plus cosine formula says cos c is equal to a square plus b square minus c square divided by 2ab. That becomes 1 by 2 2ab plus a square plus b square minus c square divided by 2ab or 4ab times we get a plus b whole square minus c square which gives you a plus b plus c times a plus b minus c divided by 4ab. a plus b plus c can be replaced by 2s a plus b minus c can be replaced by 2 times s minus c divided by 4ab. Therefore, cos c by 2 is equal to square root of s into s minus c divided by ab. Note that we have deleted, we have rejected the sign, negative sign because cos c by 2 is positive in the first quadrant, c by 2 being less than 90 degrees. Similarly, cos of a by 2 will be equal to s into s minus a by symmetry upon bc and cos b by 2 will be equal to 
under root of s into s minus b divided by ac. Having found the values of sin a by 2, cos a by 2, we can find out from them the values of tangent a by 2, cot a by 2, secant a by 2 and cosecant a by 2 by knowing the relationship between sin a by 2, cos a by 2 with tangents and cotangents. That is tangent a by 2 is equal to sin a by 2 divided by cos a by 2. We know sin a by 2 is equal to square root of s minus b into s minus c divided by bc and cos a by 2 is equal to s into s minus a divided by bc. Therefore, it is equal to square root of s minus b into s minus c divided by s into s minus a. Similarly, tangent b by 2 can be concluded to be s minus a into s minus c divided by s into s minus b and tangent c by 2 is equal to square root of s minus a into s minus b divided by s into s minus a.